friends. Welcome to the fourth annual 2013 World Mini Disc Golf Championships. My name is Nate Brown. And I'm Brad Sanders. We're going to be your broadcasting team for this event. As always, we have Langdon DeMitt and Aaron Glass covering the action from the course. Just as a reminder to those tuning in for the first time, this requires no athletic skill whatsoever and is to benefit the great cause of ALS. Brad, will you tell us a little bit about the competition field this year? Well, it's going to be a tough field this year, I think. Uh, of course, Chase Reigns, if that is his real name, won last year. Uh, he's been working out hard. Uh, we've seen him work with uh, rubber bands on strengthening. Uh, some people have said he might be juicing. There's been signs of prune juice around his, uh, his area. So, you know, we know he's taking it seriously. Now, on the other side, we've got Mike DeGuire. Word has it he's been going to a special manicurist. Uh, the word French has come into mind. Uh, you know, he won't show anybody, it's a secret, but we know he's serious about this. This wow. is the kind of competition we can expect. This is shaping up to be a great event. Now to the course, we have Langdon DeMent. Just as Brad said, the competition this year is gonna be more difficult than we've ever had. We've also grown the rough up three to four inches compared to last year's one to two. We've added multiple dog legs course designer, Marshall Bagava. We expect this course to be playing tougher than it ever has, this year being the final year here at Highwoods Properties. We want to make this an outstanding 2013 tournament. Thank you very much, Langdon. With me in the commenter's box, I have the champion from 2012, Chase Reigns. Chase, there's been some allegations this year about prune juice. Please respond. Um, I have heard those. Uh, at this moment, I don't really have a comment. Uh, we have um, I've talked to my manager, and, and at this time, we have no comment of, of those allegations. I, I, don't, I don't know where that's coming from. Last year, I won fair and square. Maybe just some, some you know, guys that are just upset about their performance. I'm not sure. What have you been doing to prepare yourself mentally for this event? Um, I've really been working with a, a therapist um, a lot on you know just how to deal with the success of winning on such a high level um, and, and the stress that goes along with that you know lots of time there's people come by my desk asking for autographs and you know asking for tips and strategies and you know it, it really kind of weighs me down a little bit so I've really been you know working with that and playing a lot of Tiger Woods on the PlayStation you know, just to mentally prepare for, for this type of tournament. It sounds like you're ready. One final question for you today Chase. Who do you view as your biggest competition for 2013? Um, a lot of people were talking up this uh, DeGuire guy, um, won a couple of years ago. You know, I'm not sure if he's really still got the edge to be competitive in this type of tournament. Uh, there's a few new guys, Cole Mandel and Jacob. I know they've been practicing a lot, going and, and you know, playing in parks and, and whatnot, but, you know, I'm not sure if they're ready. I really don't know if I have competition this year. It seems like it's already in the bag. Wow. Strong words from a great competitor. Thanks, Nate. Michael, how do you feel coming in this year to the tournament? I feel super. Uh, more than ever, I, I've been focused uh, towards not listening to some of these young guys. There's a lot of rambling going on from young guys, and we all know young guys like to talk, but when it comes to getting on the field and performing, they often fall short. You know, a lot of people are saying that your age might be a, a harness against you. Have you had much practice coming in this year? You know, listen, they call it age, I call it experience. And frankly, experience usually wins out in these things. Competition's going to be tough. Lots of uh, difficult wind conditions and storms possibly coming in. Do you have anything uh, to look at coming in for that aspect? Well, you know, I've actually been doing a little uh, uh, training with uh, one of my Zen masters. Uh, he's really good at yoga. He's been teaching me some balancing techniques. Uh, I've also begun doing some uh, meteorological testing as well to get a better grip on these winds that can sometimes uh, create problems for players. I think Chase has some major competition here with Michael. We're looking forward to the 2013 tournament. I'm coming for you, Chase Reigns. Back to you, Nate. Thank you, Langdon. I have with me in the broadcasting booth the champion of the female bracket from 2012, Caitlin Jones. Caitlin, welcome. Thank you, Nate. So glad to have you here. So tell me, what have you been doing to prepare yourself for the 2013 event? I've just kind of been relaxing, not taking it too stressful. I'll let the guys stress and email each other back and forth. They can have their little fun with that. I'm just going to stay at my desk, read all the emails, keep working on my stress ball. I'm going to work on my extension. You know, ladies have shorter arms. Got to kind of stretch out those shoulders and everything. So the guys can have all their fun. I'll just sit back and watch and just 
just kind of scope out any competition that might be in the office. Too cool for school, I like it. Mm -hmm. So tell me, who do you view as your greatest competition for 2013? I definitely have to say Preeti. I know her and her husband play mini disc golf a lot. She was telling me about that last year. And I kind of dodged that bullet last year, not having to go go head to head with her in that last round. So we'll see how it goes this year. Hopefully I can dodge that bullet again, but I don't mind a little friendly competition. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you, Caitlin. A reminder to all of our contestants this year, there's a player's package for all that register. We have your official Innova UL branded mini a sticker from Innova and their What is Disc Golf brochure. We're very much looking forward to the event. I hope that you'll join us. It's right around the corner. More details to come. Thank you very much.